I don't hate Call of Duty. I'm not making this for some weird Call of Duty vs. Battlefield thing, I know my audience is primarily Battlefield, but I wanted to discuss this because despite the game being set in a setting that I personally enjoy, I know some people feel like it's been done to death, but I'm a sucker for history, especially World War II. Why am I not hyped? Why doesn't this cool trailer with amazing cinematics and showing off all these theaters of war, why does it not get me hyped? I'm the person that it should hype up, but why doesn't it? Well, we're gonna discuss that today. Now, before we start the video, don't forget that if you enjoyed, to leave it a nice, thick, and juicy like as always. Of course, if you enjoy this kind of content, you want more like it, be sure to hit that big red sexy subscribe button right underneath the video. Also gotta say, I've been streaming a ton lately. It's been a blast hanging out with you guys. If you wanna swing by and say hi, hit that notification bell. Last but not least, gotta thank my channel members. You guys help make these videos possible. If you wanna join, get access to the exclusive perks that they get, be sure to check out that blue join button. Anyway, let's begin. So like I said, I'm a sucker for history games. And I'm a sucker especially for World War II. But for some reason, when I sit down and watch another game's trailer, like Battlefield 2042, I get hyped out of my mind. When I go back to Modern Warfare 2019's trailer, I get hyped out of my mind. When I watch freaking World at War's trailer, I get hyped and that game is old, old, old. Granted, I love me some World at War, but that game still gets me hyped. So why? Does this gorgeous looking game on the Modern Warfare engine and this wonderfully cut trailer not get me hyped? It has music. The Battlefield 5 trailer didn't have music. And that trailer was terrible, but this one has music. This looks like I can recognize it's World War II. It looks great. Why don't I care? Well, I think the thing is, these kinds of reveal trailers should reflect the vibes the game is going for. When you go back to Modern Warfare's trailer, it portrays the vibes that the multiplayer is. Sure, the footage is from the campaign, just like with the Vanguard trailer, but it's this kind of tight-knit, close-quarters gunplay, this, you know, breaching a door and going in with a shotgun. Things like that. It reflects the vibes that the multiplayer, which is where people are going to spend the most time, is going to be like. And with this, as soon as you start seeing air raids and aircraft carriers exploding, I know I'm never going to experience that in the multiplayer. You might see some planes in Warzone, but it's not going to be giant air raids. Let's be honest, that was just an event that they had. It's not actually going to be something, at least I would hope, that you experience in Warzone all the time. That'd be a bit overpowered if someone called in an air raid like that. But I think that's an issue. I think in the back of your mind, it, it ends up just becoming a cool short film for like a movie or something like that, more than it feels like a trailer for Call of Duty. And like I mentioned on Twitter, and a couple of people were agreeing with me on this, without context, this looks like a great trailer for like a movie or maybe a different game that might be offering us a different experience. For instance, if this was the trailer for say, uh, Battlefield 5 instead of the trailer we got, I think people would get hyped because a lot of those things you can do in Battlefield 5. For instance, there is an air raid on the devastation map in Battlefield 5 that you can try and survive and get through. You can even drop artillery shells on people and V1 rockets and things like that. That makes sense. In Call of Duty, that's not going to happen. <laughs> it's never going to happen. So why would I get excited for it? I know it's only going to be in the campaign and it doesn't reflect what the experience is going to be like. Even if you go to the Battlefield 2042 trailer, everything in that trailer, as crazy as it is, things like the Ronda Zook or the quad bike into the helicopter, you can do. So much so that the quad bike thing they actually put in the gameplay trailer. That's right, it's in two trailers. One's cinematic, one's the actual gameplay, and they did it in that. That's because it reflects the actual game. That's what you want from a reveal trailer. You want to give off the vibes of the game. And sure, there's a couple of cool, kind of like the, the birth of special operations vibe. There's a couple of those shots, like, you know, when you kick in the door and, and fire in that room of Germans or Lady Death sniping on the Eastern Front. There are some cool moments like that that do seem to reflect that, but it focuses too much on the big explosions and the air raids and whatnot. And again, that's just not, that's not Call of Duty. Now, the second thing is some of the gameplay mechanics they talked about. Now, I'm not going to be too harsh on these because we haven't seen actual gameplay of like the multiplayer and whatnot. This is only stuff that people like your bigger Call of Duty YouTubers have talked about in videos. So I'm not going to harp on them too much, but they just essentially it sounds like some of the things from Modern Warfare that people didn't like that made it fairly campy, like the map mounting and apparently now with mounting you can slide back and forth it just it sounds like it's going to make it a little bit more campy and be like modern warfare was 
Then, of course, even without Tom Henderson leaking it, we could pretty much guess SPMM was coming back to the game. Now, personally, for me, it already takes away from the limited variety that you have in a Call of Duty match. It's pretty much either run the meta and sweat lord or just camp, and neither of those sound very appealing to me. I personally prefer just variety, trying different guns and attachments, you know, just weird things like trying to SMG with a, a four times scope on it, because why not? Like, stuff like that is just funny to me. I don't want to sweat lord. <laughs> that just doesn't feel worth it. But with SBMM, I think it it affects so many different players in a different way that even if they don't realize it, it's having a hindrance on their experience. And plus, when it's in casual lobbies, you have no way to actually see how much you are improving. So if you're sweat lording against other guys, you don't see where you stand. Do they suck? And I'm just even worse or are they really good and I'm really good too but just not as good as them like you have no idea where you stand and that takes away from the experience as well especially in a game where so many people play it like it is this competitive style game sure it's a casual arcade shooter but a lot of people do play it for that competitive reason it is very popular so why shouldn't people see where they stack up against one another I think that could really help people get into a competitive scene while also keeping the casual lobbies casual just to kind of end this video it feels like Call of Duty Duty got to a point a while ago in that little golden age between 2007 and about 2013 where the formula was nearly perfected but it got stale because of repetition and they seemed to have run out of settings that they could do that were consistently good it was just done to death and now any changes to this formula just don't work advanced movement there for a while was kind of trash people didn't really like that because that got done to death and it just i don't think worked too well with the formula and then now we have this ultra tactical whatever campy mess modern warfare was that also wasn't very good and then you release a game like cold war that kind of captures that old school call of duty sort of vibes it, it regresses a little bit or at least that's how it feels and people complaining that it's same old same old cod but that's what call of duty is it's been done to death there's so many versions out of it that it seems like whatever you do you can't win i don't think it's ever going to return to the glory days i think any game that tries to capture those old school games is going to feel old and any new kind of iteration is going to have problems because the formula already got perfected. Now granted there are other issues, it's not just this, but I think that is at the core of it all. You try to change the gameplay like the futuristic games did or even like Modern Warfare did and people don't like it. Granted SBMM doesn't help either, but like I said, the core of the issue is it's never going to be the same. It's never going to capture that same magic that it did all those years ago no matter what they do. So anyway, those are my thoughts on Call of Duty Vanguard. Let me know what you guys think down below, and I will see you guys in the next video.